Hello guys, uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, sinusoidal functions uh, in the context of continuous time and in the next video I'm going to talk about sinusoidal function in the context of discrete time. So the general um, or the generalized equation for continuous time sinusoidal function is this x of t equals to a cos omega naught t plus some theta where this a is the amplitude of x of t omega naught is the f frequency of x of t and this theta is the phase shift of x of t um, the this omega naught frequency has a units of radians per seconds so if I draw the plot of the sinusoidal function, it looks something like this. So that is my sinusoidal function, x of t. And the amplitude at this instant of time when t is 0 is going to be um, x of t equals to 0, which is a cos omega naught uh, 0 plus theta which is a cos of theta so the amplitude at t equal to 0 is a cos of theta now the question one may ask is is this uh, sinusoidal a periodic signal or not now to get more idea on the periodic signals I suggest you to go and watch my videos uh, on the periodic signals the link to which is also provided up in this video so now I have to test test if x of t is periodic and if it is periodic then what's this period well if figure if you look at the figure we can see there is some repetition so it seems to be periodic but you want to see it mathematically if it's periodic or not so for x of t to be periodic, then x of t plus a shift of t results into the x of t. And if that is true, then we say x of t is periodic with period t. So let's try to check out if that equation is in fact true for our sinusoidal. And if it happens to be true, then our signal is going to be periodic. So let's try to find out the x of t plus capital T part. So x of t plus capital T is going to be um, a a um, sorry a cos of omega naught t plus capital T plus theta. What I'm doing here is that I have this x of t available with me, and all I'm doing is substituting t plus t in the place of t here and here. So if I solve this, I'm going to get a cos omega naught t plus theta plus omega naught capital T. Now this expression could turn out to be x of t if somehow this part goes away. So the question is how can we take this thing out from this equation. Well, um, I'm going to use something as an aside and, and that is that there's a property which says that if you have a cos of theta and you give it a shift of um, integer multiples of 2 pi, it's going to have no effect on the cos waveform. As long as you give it a shift of integer multiple of 2 pi's. So if that complete expression turns out to be equal to 2 pi, then this 2 pi can go away and will get a cos omega naught t plus theta which actually is x of t. And if that's the case, then you can say that x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T. So um, what I'm saying is, so, so what I'm saying is, if omega naught capital T happens to be equal to pi then x of t plus capital T is going to be equal to 
cos of omega naught uh, t plus theta plus 2 pi and that is equal to cos of omega naught t plus theta which actually is equal to x of t so that's a condition we need, which needs to be satisfied if we want our uh, sinusoidal signal to be periodic um, so from here we can see that um, that t is 2 pi by omega naught so as long as t is equal to 2 pi by omega naught, x of t plus capital T is equal to x of t, and we can say that our signal is periodic. Um, just to be more clear, um, this omega naught t is equals equal to 2 pi f, and therefore t is equal to uh, 2 pi over 2 pi f, and therefore 1 over f. Um, this um, f is called frequency, and that t is called time period of x of t. Now let's try to summarize what we have said so far. I have said that this signal a cos omega naught uh, t plus theta is going to be periodic, is periodic with period with period um, capital T which is given by 2 pi by omega naught t and we know how we get this equation and and we can write omega naught as 2 pi f so we'll have t also equal to 1 by f remember that these this frequency is an angular frequency with the units of radians per second and that's a simple frequency or frequency with the units of uh, hertz which is 1 by seconds so yeah, therefore, the continuous sinusoidals are always periodic with the period equals to this function over here. So yeah, that's all from my side regarding uh, the sinusoidal signals in continuous time. Um, if you still have any questions, just post them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much for listening.